with my mom. We're so glad to have you joining us online today. Thank you so much. We also have some great guests in studio. Yay, us. You're in LA, <laughs> come by. We want to have you here. You've seen him on ESPN hosting both the Summer and Winter X Games, his new documentary, Alaka Sam, about his father's life premiered in April at the Tribeca Film Festival. We are thrilled to have him here. Please welcome Sam Asakela. Hi. I you said it right. right. You did it. You did. You know him from the MTV show, The Buried Life, and now he's an author of a New York Times best-selling book. What do you want to do before you die? Please welcome Dave Lingwood. <laughs> and as always, America's social media sweetheart, he really is from chill.com, Mark Hustvedt. Thank you, Shira. Well, you too can be part of the discussion. Join the live chat. Seriously, it's going on right now at youtube.com slash what's trending or tweet us at what's trending. Yes. Do you sleep with your iPad? <laughs> Always tied. To you need to. I need to. new one though. This is, this is the first one. I mean, you have great shoes too, by the way. Oh, I appreciate that. Wow. I was talking to him, but you oh. have great shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. And the funny thing is, I was totally serious. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I do Let's like your shoes YouTube, as well. Though. It's not about us. Sal, congratulations on the documentary. Thank we, you very much. we competed in some sort of cocktail thing that you won. I did, yeah. Recently, that's how we know each other. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I forget who put it on. That happens. It doesn't matter, but it went. I won so, $10,000 <laughs> for my foundation. And I won so, 1000 yeah. It was a really sad, depressing day. The hair drink was very embarrassing. But you're doing so much. I know you as a host, obviously, everywhere on every TV network, but now you have a documentary. Yeah. You also have an album. Yep. Tell me about being at Tribeca and, and what this film is all about and what it means to you. Well, being at the Tribeca Film Festival was crazy because you go to this lunch, they welcome you and you look and you, at your card on the table and it's like Olivia Wilde and Sheila Nevins who runs HBO sitting next to you and then right over there like, would you like to come over and meet Bobby? I was like, Bobby, like, you know, Mr. De Niro. No um, way. Yeah, I was like, oh, and he said like 12 words to me, which is five more than he says to most people. Um, and it was, it was a blast. But the documentary is about my dad. My dad was a political exile from South Africa, a musician. Um, so I was born while he was in exile here oh, wow. in the States. And um, for 30 years, he couldn't go back to South Africa. Um, and he was sort of a freedom fighter, you know, with his music, sort of making the world aware of apartheid and that this thing was going to end and sort of the rich culture of South Africa. And a lot of people always sort of wondered like, you know, where, where, does, where do you come from? How did this, hmm. how did this young African American become the face of like, like the X Games and snowboarding and skateboarding? So it's, um, it's about our journey and it's about my life sort of coming full circle through music. Uh, I grew up in the, a child of the arts and, and music was something that I always wanted to get out of me. And then I finally said, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to see what happens if I go in the studio and, and just spend like three months writing and, and recording an album and that's what happens. And now you have like multimedia. You have the album, the documentary. What else are we going to see? Um, the, the album comes out, uh, it's out actually on iTunes. It's called okay. The Sound of Alakazam. Uh, and I don't know when we're, what we're going to do about putting the movie out because we didn't expect it to get accepted to Tribeca and people get excited <laughs> about it. So. We're figuring something out to, so that people will be seeing it by the I end of the summer. I hear there's the internet. What's that? There's the internet. We're, yeah, well, we're, great it's, we want to do something on the intranets. It's just <laughs> figuring out the right deal so that people can see it. But yeah, it's coming. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your story. No worries. That's great. Look forward to seeing it. I, I think you'll like it when you do. Uh, yes. And Dave? Hello. Dave has such a fun story. Dave, is a, are you a Canadian? I am. You're part of the Canadian troop. It's a fellow Canadian. I'm from Montreal. I always Ooh. have to mention that. I lived two years in Montreal. I think it's but a great place. But you're not even really from Canada if you're from Montreal. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's it's joke. so horrible. <laughs> Just because I didn't <laughs> grow up in an igloo. <laughs> God. Um, but the very dream. life, I mean, I've been following you guys for a while. You've grown so much. You went from being just really an online movement. I thought you were like, yeah, I was 5'9", now I've been I'm 5'10". I've been stalking you since the beginning. I mean, I appreciate that. That's very <laughs> sweet of you. Um, you had the MTV show, and then, I mean, the movement continues, though. That's what's so cool about it. Yeah. Now you have this book. Yeah, we're super excited. It hit New York's time number one, number one bestseller, <laughs> and uh, it was really nice to be able to go to my English teacher who failed me in grade ten, and like, ha! Ah! <laughs> then again in grade eleven, being like, hey, you know what? I have a New York Times bestseller. I'm over it. So how does that happen? Four guys, four dudes. 
I mean, we just, the, the cool thing about the book is we got to write it with our Facebook and Twitter community. So yeah. they submitted list items of things that they always wanted to do. And we picked like our favorite 150 and then got our favorite artist to illustrate them. So all the, all the pages are like people's list it. items yeah, brought to life. Like that one's a little deep, but let's, <laughs> let's go there. I want to see my mom sober. <laughs> yeah, I like, that's all great. You have over I want to be on a boat with Andy Samberg and T-Pan. <laughs> We run the gamut, serious <laughs> yeah. and joking. Well, because you have over a million Facebook followers and fans. Sure. So, I mean, that's a huge community of people submitting ideas constantly. Yeah, it was, it was uh, a lot to go through them all, but we did. And this was on your bucket list. Yes. Number 19, make a best-selling author or make a best-selling Is it just book. all about visualization at this point? I feel like, it, are you proving, you guys are like the new spiritual leaders. You should, did you guys play the Powerball? What's the, no, oh my gosh, no, I, I mean, I just couldn't. You're kind of on a roll. I, I, when they started throwing out the stats, like, you're more likely to, like, get attacked by a shark and then hit by lightning than win that lottery. I was like, oh, well. Even number one bestseller, dude, I would buy a lot of tickets. What's that, what's the la another thing you want to do before you die? Like, because you guys have done so much. What's that, I mean, and you keep on creating them, right? Go to space is the one that we're going after, and we're, we're really trying hard to get on that first flight with uh, Virgin Galactic, but. Can you um, talk to Branson? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going hard at it right now, but it's, uh, it's a tough one, it's a tough one. So, but That'd that's, be pretty that's, cool. That's really our, our one that we're fighting for right now is go to space. Do it for all of us, please. I mean, that's what we're trying all to do. All right, say. well, we have a ton of great stories today, so let's move on to our first story, shall mm. we? Are you ready? Ready, you ready. You got your brain caps on? Now, this is one we had to cover this week. Since Friday, Facebook's $104 billion IPO, the third largest of all time, mm. has been the buzz of the interwebs. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, well, yeah, apparently the NASDAQ it has a dislike button. Since the stock price has dropped sharply from $42 a share to just barely $31. you know how many billions of dollars that is? And now more information has come out about glitches in the NASDAQ computer systems, potential insider trading, and not telling some investors certain information. It has become a sideshow, people. So ha have you been following this, Sal? I have. Um, when, when, when they were first were going to go public, I thought about it. But then I was like, what's... What's the value? What are you buying? Where's Friendster? Where's MySpace? And I've, I'm sorry, Mark Zuckerberg's a genius in the movie and what have you. I just don't think that Facebook will be as relevant as we move forward uh, as it has been the last five years. You Interesting. think this is an extended MySpace? I think it's like MySpace Plus, yeah. Hmm. Is that because the social networks become like fashion? today that they aren't real sustainable businesses? Is that, I mean, is that what's happening? Or is this a different kind of model? Because they, they are making way more money than either of those two companies. Ever. True. Yeah. I just think at the end of the day, we can survive with We've always been able to survive without it. And I, I think it's, it's become so sort of like a That's like anything. Of a we didn't have 10 but years you, ago you, all this stuff. I use, look, I, I, use, I just don't know. What's the value? What's what, what are they going to make money million, off Over of? 800 million users, Enjoying. advertisers selling against that. That's a very powerful. What was the stuff. last thing you bought off of seeing it on, on, on Facebook? Um, Most ads you see, you're like, get that out of my face. I just want. I saw a great cat maybe, meme. Maybe a best <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love your cat memes. Novel. Yeah. I mean, what about that? You can really leverage audience. I mean, and True. we did, and we did use it. We did use Facebook ads to to advertise it, and it was it was fairly effective for us too. Right. So I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can really use it in tangible things. It's not this like airy fairy. You know, you have. 600 friends on it. And well, does this change, you know, the way you look at Facebook, your perception with all this drama coming out? And the fact that it's public now, does it make it not as valuable? I mean, Mark Zuckerberg is just so adorable in his little hoodie. How just can you be mad at him? You know, he's just like, you know, he's comfortable, so I should be comfortable. I think they, got, they were a victim of greed. I don't think, I think that the valuation was, was way too high. And that's what they're suffering from. It'll, it'll, it'll come back around. Well, actually, it started, the stock price started, though, lower than Google did when it, when it first was out on the market. I mean, that's the thing about these. You have Zynga, you have LinkedIn, inf inflated numbers, a lot of buzz, and that don't end up doing well on the market. Well, price is always kind of this red herring anyway, because it has to do with how many shares are out there and what class of shares they are. And I mean, these guys are right. I think they got a little greedy at the end. The bankers, though, were kind of egging them on. They were, during the last weeks of the road show, like two weeks ago, when they were going around saying, please, you know, here, we're a great company, buy the stock, they 
added another 25% of the stock that they were going to have available, which meant there's all this new supply and there wasn't quite the demand, but the bankers said there was the demand. So I think now we're seeing that correction that, you know, 42 is not really where it's at. It sure. might settle some. Today we're at, I just saw 33. And someone also at. did a, t a Twitter analysis, right? Yeah, so, so Chris Saka started this tweet. He's this like um, really well-known uh, angel investor and, and uh, entrepreneur. And he said, hey, can Twitter predict sort of where the price is going? Because it is sort of a, a general sentiment analysis on where people are like thinking about buying this. Uh, it, it actually, like they were way off. It was this, this fancy little chart here on, on Mashable. But they were way off in terms of the final price, but they did predict the trends. So as people during the day were like, Oh, no, 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 that's too high, that's too high, the thing started to go. And then when it started like hitting its bottom, they were like, no, 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 it should be up a little higher. So people's voice online does matter. Absolutely. Yeah, it's the public markets. Well, for now it remains the most powerful and influential social network. But you can also find us there, facebook.com slash what's trending. A lot of social media chatter. Actually, we asked you online on our Twitter account what you guys thought of the whole thing. And we did have someone who had some really good insight at New Media Weekly. New Media had something Weekly, interesting to say. one of our, our regular viewers here on What's Trending. So thank you for watching. They said, uh, it seems an investor set is still a bit cautious with the tech stock, clearly evident by uh, FB's tepid opening and downward slide. Um, is this just Uber tech talk for you guys? I'm so dizzy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that the Instagram guys got, got their, they made sure that their checks cash. For this. <laughs> well, yeah, they lucked out. Them, the draw something guys. Did the we, draw something people Draw something, out? cashed out, OMG popped, Zynga. People I are cashing out. I think they got some Facebook stock though. Hopefully going public still makes Zuckerberg want to care about the product, the people, the community. Let's keep it at that. Don't think if you start just to start up, you're going to end up going public and getting a buyout. Let's keep it real, folks, all right?